if you only knew the power of the dark side. Two, no. one, zero. Greetings Retro and Limmers and welcome to Play Expo 2014. We're here in the press area. I'm Harold Rutherford Yank and in the background you can hear Mr. Paul Bradley chatting to Michael Burhan. So Paul, what do you think of the Expo so far? Oh, it's excellent. Massive improvement from last year. Massive improvement to Blackpool and I think they've got it right this year. So what are the differences, the main differences you would say between this one and last year's? The amount they've got covering the floor space. Last year it was empty. This year it's what triple the size. So much in it. Downside: prices of sellers, resellers. That's the bad side of it. Those have always been bad, though, haven't they? Well, they are, but this time, crazy. That's crazy. Give us an example. What's the highest price game you've seen so far today? Well, highest price. Not really seen, but I've seen Sega Rally for 15 quid on the Dreamcast. P games. Considering you can go and play that in the arcades, free. The sit-down machine is free. But there are a lot of modern consoles I've seen around. Over 140 PS4 systems apparently set up. Exactly. Has play started to be like Comic Con? Seems to be. Is it losing its roots with the retro? Mm, that's why Play Blackpool is there. That's what I would say. So, Mike, what are your thoughts so far? I gather you've only been here an hour and a half, a roundabout. Yeah, I have been. Uh, it's been okay. I'm not really too impressed. It's like the game companies that are here it seems to be a bit lackluster in terms of indie developers. Um, if you compare it to something like EGX, EGX had about 20 to 30 developers. Here it has five, and the majority of them have no idea what they're doing, uh, which is fun. Um, they do have a lot of systems there, a lot of arcade systems. I have to agree with Paul as well on the resellers. It seems like a lot of them are charging way too much overhead. It compares to Play Blackpool even. Um, Play Blackpool, you had resellers giving you very good prices and also as well letting you know whether a cart was a repo or not. On this time, you don't actually see it. So you could spend like £40 on a game and then find out it's a repo. That would be a big, big bummer. But I would say, with regards to the sellers, something I liked about Blackpool was they had their own dedicated room, whereas here, they just spread across the whole expo and you have to walk from one end of the room to the other to find them. Although, there are a, a cluster of them in the middle. But I kind of like the homely nature of the Blackpool one. You kind of felt you were surrounded by retro gamers, whereas here, you've got the Tekken fighting tournament or whatever. So... It is really scattered, yeah, I agree. And it's, it's one of those things where you, you feel like a cat when someone moves the furniture in the room around, you know. You're like, what the fuck is going on? Why, why can't I know where I'm going? Um, there's no floor plan, there's no map per se, so you don't actually see where you're going. Or, and you're kind of following things through blindly. So it's, it's not a bad event, but I think they need to take into consideration a lot of these things when they decide to put the event on again next year. Um, maybe like put some dedicated floor plans, put dedicated areas and as well look at the certain areas where you've got like for instance now loads of music playing so it doesn't interfere with like the press when they want to do their interviews because at the moment it's going to be ridiculous. Yeah that's another issue with having the one room set up because this is basically a large plane hanger, converted plane hanger it looks like. At Blackpool, yeah. It's all enclosed and it just, it just feels more warm, more welcoming. And I feel that way about Blackpool as opposed to Manchester. Although having said that, we're sat here in the press area and I don't believe there's been press areas thus far on the previous three editions of the main play expo. Press rooms are, uh, there's, there's, there's two ways of doing them. There's like, uh, when I was at EGX, you had like dedicated rooms 
so you can actually sit on the chair, have a water, where they've kind of laid out some tables here and just went, here you go, charge your phone. But again, I'm not complaining. It's, it's something where it's, it's enjoyable to see. The, it's a, a step in the right direction, but they, they also need to look at the design and say, where are the flaws? What can we do? And putting a lid on the place would probably be a long way to go as well, because we can hear everything. You've just, all you've done is put a wall and a curtain between us and everybody else. I've had about four people come up to me asking for the toilet, so I'm lucky I haven't seen anyone try to use this as a toilet yet. But it's it's not a bad thing. They just got to look at it and say, okay, what can we do in terms of the design? How can we actually make it aesthetically pleasing, but at the same time make it vast so we've got enough to entertain those who are hardcore fans and also bring in the retro crew as well at the same time. Um, there, I also think better looks and checks into resellers. See who's selling what, how much they're selling it for, and if they are naming their own prices, maybe actually look at kind of a scale and say, right, if you're selling it for over this much, we can't have you here. Uh, because if you've got one bad reseller, we'll just basically give the whole place a bad reputation. One thing I will say in Play Expo's favour, it has improved since the first time. The first one, I believe, was in Blackpool. It's continued to get bigger, and I believe continue to improve in quality. So at this rate, in a couple of years' time, maybe we will have specialist booths for the press, interviews and things like that. But considering the venue, as I say, it's a big open hangar type place, then it is quite difficult to do that. And I think this is the best they could have done as in just putting up some partitions, but they're only about eight foot tall. And as you can hear, there's the um, Gangnam Style, that's it. It's not <laughs> that's it. But he was blasting away in the background there. I just heard the MC speak in English. <laughs> he, he was talking about the event and he was speaking in English. I have no idea what the hell he was saying. It was like, you come here, you come here fight. You come here, fight. Next event coming. Fight, fight. Fight next event. You're good. Play a tour. Play a tour. I, it's like going to um, a family meal at my sister in law's house. It's very weird. Welcoming you to In the Expo of the Play 2014. Do you have anything to say, Mr. Paul Bradley? No. Well, there you go. <laughs> <laughs> I have one thing to say choppy, choppy, sucky, sucky. Uh, you want number three when you do Very good. Now, uh, play Fata Street. We will play Capcom. Very good. Expo play. 2014 or 15. Yay! <laughs> Fantastic. Well, thank you very much, Paul Bradley, and thank you very much, the Berman himself, Mr. Michael Burham, for joining me on this segment of the Retro One Limb podcast live at Play Expo 2014. This is our Limb podcast of Retro, <laughs> and I'm here with Head of Gas. Hello, Head of Gas. Hello there, the, the, the genius guy. Genius nerd. Genius nerd, sorry, genius nerd. A genius nerd and Head of Gas. So tell me, Head of Gas, where do you do toilet? I, I like the toilet. I do it all the time. Very, very good. And now we got uh, we got Skull of Gold here with us. Skull of Skull of Gold. Oh, hello. I am Golden Skull. Why are we talking like this? What's happening? <laughs> oh, no, 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 no. Not that I'm going to heal you. He'll give you five slaps to the face. Don't tell me, Skull of Gold. You said you'd go and rape Yakman. But I see Yakman standing. What happened? Do I have to do this in the Pakistani accent? Hang on. <clears throat> I rape his bum hole, but I leave him standing. Yes. You sound like you're from Yorkshire. You're a fake study. No comment. Ah, Mr. Yakman. I thought you were very big and burly beast. Instead, you're a very short man. I'm not impressed. I give you two coronas. Two coronas for you. Yes, Mr. Yakman. You make food for my children for... Three days. Depending if you do TV, he's very hunt, so he'll probably die. Anyway, Mr. Head of Gas, tell us more about your toilet. 
Do you do toilet film too, don't you? Veil yourself on toilet, Mr. Man ahead of gas. He has no comment. He only goes to the toilet on a Thursday, and only when he's being filmed. Also, I can provide very much yak milk butter for you, Mr. Burhan. Ah, but you need big, big yak titty. Big yak titty for milk. If you don't have big yak titty like those YouTube girls, then you cannot provide milk. Oh, wait. I think I see my friend Brad. Goodbye. Jihad. Well, thank you very much for that. Michael Verhan's Iranian cousin. So, tonight, around the table, we have the Golden Skull, a.k.a. Mr. Infected Flinch. Yeah, I'm all right. How are you? I'm all right. I'm right ecstatic to be here. Yeah? Ah. Uh, Sorry, I don't know any Yorkshireian. <laughs> Just miss vital vowels. That knows. I'm a Lancastrian, so I'm your swan mortal enemy. Fat boy. Fat boy. Are we turning that into a meme now? Yes. Uh, <laughs> yes. <laughs> fat boy. Uh, fat boy with his fat milk titties. Nova Bug, I can see Nova Bug sitting over there. Chris Weatherly, hello, he's waving at me currently. Are you looking forward to the Chris Barry panel? Is it a panel? Talk later. I believe it is, yes. Yes, I am very much looking forward to it. Yes, I believe the panel's tomorrow, isn't it? Because Mr. Craig Charles is not here. He would have had his car stolen if he were here today. No, no. no I thought he was. So it looks like they won't be here together, which is a pity, but there we go. Two minutes. Oh. Play Expo cannot take both of them on one day. You know what it is? They didn't want to have them both in the same room at the same time, otherwise the space-time continuum would explode in a spacely orgasm. So they decided instead that he was going to be on his own just to contain it for now. And also, I don't even know if Novabug's going to contain himself. No, I can't. I can't. I can't. I can't. I'm going now. I've got to go. Brad. We love you, Brad, wherever you are. Big love, Brad. Big, 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 big love. Now we have Jamaicans in the house. Who the dickens is Brad? <laughs> Who is Brad? That's the question. Ask him. Who is Brad? Is he the golden skull? No comments. Thank you, Mr. Toilet Man. With his drinking his red striped beer. All you need to know is that Brad has been let go. Right, I don't understand any of that. We, we've, decided to, we've decided to let Brad go. Because we need End food. Off. Because we need food. We need food. to eat! <laughs> Please donate. Donate to our Patreon. Donate to our Patreon and I will do private Google Hangouts with you. <laughs> with, in my Billy Joel t-shirt with my Billy Joel headdress. And uh, I, I will also... Uh, send you naked photos of Gashead on the toilet. Ah, 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 hey, buddy. Ah, ah, ah. For those of you who don't know, that's Gashead playing Alien Isolation. <laughs> Steve, you've been sitting very quietly during the duration of this podcast. Do you have anything to say on this matter? I don't want to get involved. That's probably for the best. <laughs> right, so what time is it now? About quarter to three Mr. Michael Burhan is going to head over to the Chris Barry interview area and well interview him basically then do a strip tease freak him out and uh, basically if he likes what he sees then I'll get freaked out so we'll, we'll, we're going to play, play a little game called gay chicken we'll see uh, we'll see who clucks first so uh, you know that's going to be that's going to be fun uh, and then that'll be another celebrity crossed off my list um uh, and then I'm going to go bother Alec Baldwin. Uh, Kat Dennings just won't talk to me anymore. She never replies to my letters. But, you know, we'll, we'll get there. We'll get there. Just power through. We're trying them. We're, we're going places at the moment. Mostly down, but we're going places. Uh, you know, straight to hell. But, yeah, it's, it's going to be great. It's going to be great. I've just got to make sure that Nova Bug doesn't cream his pants while we're actually there. So if he has any little accidents, I don't know him. And I think we'll have to borrow him from Retro Island events uh, for life. But, you know, we'll see. I'll, I'll make sure that Mr. Head of Gas here checks for stains, just in case. 
And uh, do you want to tell us any more about your Alien Isolation Let's Play? Ah, uh, oh, uh, uh, there he is. Uh, oh, hey, buddy. <laughs> I was deeply moved. That was an Academy Award winning performance. Uh, no. no. Have you got like some thoughts that you're suppressing or something? Because I, that, that's what it sounds like. I've uh, basically had to let him go. I've let Brad go. Brad, wherever you are, we miss you. Well, I'm sure that means something to someone somewhere, but I'm not quite sure who or what. <laughs> right, well, thank you very much for joining us for this segment of the Retro One Limb podcast, live at Play Expo 2014. Live! Arnold impression! Arnold impressions! The actress, I, I think you're amazing. I, I'm going to come and I'm going to hug you and squeeze you. And I'm going to make you pop in my muscles. And Brad, I miss you. I'm going to go play in isolation and sit there and can start screaming like I'm having orgasm. I come. Arnold, what do you think of naked men oiled up? Ow. Most naked men don't have my form. Ow. They need the muscles and they don't have muscles. They're all fat like Mr. Gashead here. It's okay. He, he contains it when he puts it in his shirt. But no one is like me. Ow. No, no one has body like me or a pig valve. I'm like a bucket of KFC inside. Ow. But it's okay. I'm gonna go play more Alien Isolation. Ah, there's an alien. Stop humping my face, alien. Thank you very much. Good night. Get to the expo. Thank you very much. Are you actually the head of all gas in the world? I am indeed. Well, as head of all gas in the world, can you get rid of fart gas that smells, please? Yeah, absolutely. Just on Wednesdays, though. On Toilet Thursdays? Only on Wednesdays. Okay. Right, well, thank you very much for joining me and this packet of crisps here at Play Expo.